Procrastination makes easy things hard and hard things harder. And that is the thought for today. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. You ever lie in bed at night tossing and turning knowing you should be getting some quality Z's? Your brain's like a caffeinated squirrel going in circles, right? Yep, I've been there. Sometimes we understand what's good for us, like needing sleep or taking some personal time, but our brains just don't cooperate. The good news is therapy can help you figure out what's keeping you stuck in those mental ruts. If you've been considering giving therapy a whirl, let me tell you about BetterHelp. Yes, that's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P. It's 100% online, super flexible, and works around your schedule. Fill out a brief questionnaire, and voila, you're matched with a licensed therapist. And if things aren't clicking, you can switch therapists at no extra cost. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 7 good minutes today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash 7 good minutes. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes... We talk about a few helpful strategies for overcoming procrastination and laziness. Enjoy. Imagine you're this guy and you've been putting off writing a thank you letter to your grandma. She sent you socks or something for Christmas. You even went and bought the stationery to do it. You have the thank you letter nicely wrapped in the what anyway. So basically, every time you think about doing it, you start to feel this inner sense of resistance. It's a resistance you can't seem to break past. So instead of dealing with that resistance, you go and do an escapist activity like playing Apex Legends. So let's continue this role play a little bit. You're playing Apex Legends for a couple of hours and things are going well, and then it hits you. It's an inner kind of disgusting, guilty feeling. It's as if the anxiety of the thing that you're avoiding starts to pervade the activity that you're using to escape the thing you're avoiding. Congratulations, in this short little role-playing, totally fictional experiment we just did, you just experienced the two types of pain. The pain of action and the pain of inaction. The pain of action is something we can all identify with. It's that discomfort we feel before we do anything constructive. Anytime you think about doing something that's constructive and a little bit difficult, there's that inner sense of resistance that seems to stop you from doing it. And in order to actually accomplish that thing, you have to break through that resistance and then you get it done. That inner sense of resistance is like, it's a paralyzing feeling. Breaking through this resistance usually takes some good old white knuckle willpower. So while it's painful and uncomfortable up front, if you just take it on the chin and deal with it, you start to become stronger and more able to deal with it in the future. You start to become somebody who is okay with discomfort. Your confidence, your self-efficacy, and basically your whole life improves because not only do you feel better about yourself, usually doing something constructive makes makes your life situation better anyways. It's kind of like a lose-win. The lose is eating the pain and the win is the the redemption that comes from that pain. So that's the pain of action. The pain of inaction is far more subtle and it's a lot more sinister too. And that's because it doesn't usually feel like pain at all. When you choose to play Apex, instead of filing your taxes, it may actually feel good for a while. And you know, it's a lot more fun to play Apex than it is to file your taxes but kind of like binge drinking on a Friday night, you're just stealing the happiness from Saturday morning. And the debt you'll have to repay afterwards is far more painful than just taking the initial pain on the chin to begin with. The pain of inaction is a slow burning degenerative pain that ruins every aspect of your life. By choosing the inaction route, you become a softer person, somebody who flinches at the sight of discomfort, somebody who can't get stuff done. And the consequence of that on a long enough timeline is you start to dislike yourself, you start to not believe in your ability to get things done, and your life situation starts to fall apart around you. You'll eventually dig yourself into a hole so deep that it seems impossible to get out of until you're pained by the misery of your own existence. Obviously this is really morbid, but it's nonetheless true. Nobody can avoid pain in day-to-day life. Pain's just something that we all have to deal with, but thankfully we can choose which pain we deal with. If you choose not to fool yourself and take the pain right up front, battle through the discomfort of taking constructive action, then you won't have this massive pain debt to pay. 
and the pain debt is the pain of inaction, which is a lot more crappy in general. So yeah, that's all That's all I got to say is choose wisely. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on the platform you're listening on. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.